The submarine is the single most powerful piece of military hardware that has ever been devised. Just think about this for a moment. A single nuclear submarine carries more firepower than was unleashed by all the armed forces of the Second World War. One big question is, could submarines of the future become stealthy and completely silent, like the fictional one from Tom Clancy's Red October? You should be afraid if this ever becomes a reality, because this submarine was built solely as a first strike weapon. And what a devastating weapon it would be. They can also be used in a devastating retaliation against another nation's missile bases and airfields. In fact, the USA keeps half of its nuclear arsenal on submarines, either as a possible first strike weapon or in retaliation as a deterrent to a nuclear strike. Now in this modern world of globalization and emerging regional powers such as China, India and Japan, the modern submarines of the 21st century will face an unknown future where it's harder to hide and where autonomous military robots will play a larger role in the warfare. What's going to make a submarine deadlier than it already is? Some submarines will get more firepower, they will become stealthier, and they will also become quieter. Those are the keys to winning this game. There are three major types of submarines, ballistic missile subs, attack subs, and cruise missile submarines. And they all have different purposes in war. But the very essence of the naval submarine is stealth, no matter which type it is. Ballistic submarines are built to evade detection by making as little noise as possible. They move slowly, and they're coated in a rubbery substance that absorbs sound and prevents sonar detection. Every moving part on a submarine is isolated, including the engine deck, which is built on shock mounts to stop vibration. You probably understand by now that the thing that makes the most noise on a submarine is the propellers. Those massive spinning blades create bubbles called cavitation and make a lot of noise. Engineers now use more blades so that the propeller doesn't have to spin so fast to create the same propulsion. Believe it or not, submarine propeller designs were at one time a closely guarded secret. But as new propulsion systems are developed, it seems that propellers may become obsolete. Modern submarines are either nuclear powered, diesel engine powered, or use the new air independent propulsion technology, which first came into use in the 1990s, or a top secret system we'll talk about in a moment. The nuclear powered submarines only have to surface to change crew or take on supplies because there's enough nuclear fuel to power the boat for 30 years without it ever having to surface. They are quieter, don't consume air, and produce a much greater power output than submarines with diesel engines. But even though they can stay underwater for a very long time, a nuclear sub's reactor must constantly pump coolant, which generates enough noise that a sonar operator would be able to detect it. But there is another futuristic propulsion system called the pump jet, which is considerably quieter than a propeller. There isn't much known about the new pump jets. The information is top secret and tightly held. One thing that we do know is that they are much heavier than a conventional propeller, so the submarine has to be much larger. But with new, bigger sub-designs that are being drawn up, the pump jet becomes a more sensible alternative. It will make future submarines much harder to detect as they sneak up on unsuspecting enemy ships or coastlines. China's military and navy are becoming bigger and stronger as time passes. The country has claimed that it has developed a new generation of advanced attack submarines that have a silent propulsion system, but no one knows if this is true. China seems to be striving to become a military power that can match the United States and has been building up its navy for years. But we should keep in mind that the United States is the top military spender and in 2018 had a budget of $649 billion. Compare that to China's distant second at $250 billion, and it looks like they have a lot of catching up to do. Russia, their current military budget was only $48.2 billion, much lower than you would expect a former superpower to spend. China has recently completed work on a brand new submarine, but there are no details on this submarine and only satellite photos give us an idea of the size and what the new ship is capable of. The only thing that is known about this mystery submarine is that it's 150 feet long by 15 feet across 
which is actually smaller than a conventional submarine. And the submarine has no sail rising up from the middle of the deck where the periscope should be. Japan is also working on its Soryu class, which is recognized as one of the world's most advanced, quietest, and conventionally powered submarines. Japan's current fleet runs on large banks of advanced lithium-ion batteries as a quiet source of power. The new 29SS submarine design will retain the Soryu class hull and a reduced sail that will blend in with the hull. Additionally, it is also expected to include a pump jet propulsion and it will be able to carry 30 torpedo-launched weapons, a mixture of Type 89 heavy torpedoes and sub-harpoon anti-ship missiles. Watch out, Godzilla! Despite this, most of these submarine developments are shrouded in mystery, and Japan isn't leaking any information on this new weapon. Russia has also been building new submarines. The latest submarine that was commissioned is the B-274 Petroplavlovsk Kamchatsky, and she's unlike anything the U.S. Navy has ever seen. The Kamchatsky is conventionally powered and doesn't have a nuclear reactor. To put that in perspective, the last time the USA launched a non-nuclear submarine was back in the 1950s. This sub uses heavy-duty lead-acid batteries to power the propeller, and those batteries are recharged using diesel generators. You might think this would make it a faster boat, but it's only more quiet. Nuclear submarines are much faster and have plenty of surplus energy to power massive sonar arrays. However, since the Russian sub is quieter, it could still be a very dangerous weapon and sneak up on an enemy submarine or ship. But Russia has a new submarine on the horizon called the Husky class, which will be armed with nuclear torpedoes and hypersonic missiles. We know that China and Russia like to rattle their sabers, so just how many of their claims are true? Don't be fooled, even though Russia doesn't have the money, their attack submarine fleet is one of the best in the world. And the new Husky-class boat is slated to carry the feared 3M-22 Zircon hypersonic cruise missile, which was successfully tested in 2017, and it reached speeds of Mach 8. Once this missile is fired, it is incredibly hard to track and to intercept, and a Zircon missile would travel from the ship's radar horizon to the ship very quickly. This ship would also carry the Caliber cruise missile. And it looks like in total, the ship would be able to carry 40 to 48 missiles under its silo covers. But the most technologically advanced submarine on the planet is the fast attack submarine, the United States Navy's USS South Dakota. Unlike other submarines who hide out in distant waters waiting for an attack order, this submarine is intended to meet an enemy Navy head on and carry dozens of Tomahawk missiles and launch them all at ground targets. The USS South Dakota can hunt and sink enemy ships and other submarines, and it is said that there is no match for this hunter-killer. It is nuclear-powered and so not completely silent, but with its advanced tracking and sonar, it can paint a target on anything and enlist the help of nearby ships, helicopters, and warplanes that can attack the enemy. Even though it's the most advanced submarine in the world, the U.S. Navy is now developing the Columbia class, which will be built by General Dynamics at the cost of $6.2 billion each and will have a 42-year service life. One thing is certain, the United States is in a great power competition with resurgent Russia and a rising China. The only way these countries will be able to combat each other or keep another country from attacking is to build more lethal force because the surest way to prevent war is to be prepared to win one. What do you think will happen in the future? Will China become the world's elite superpower? Will Russia regain some of its former USSR glory and resurge as a superpower? Or will the United States stay at the top with its massive military spending? Let us know in the comments. And if you like the video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when a new video arrives. Thanks for watching.